American soldiers of the 10th Mountain Division scaled that 1,800-foot cliff at night, caught the Germans by surprise, captured, captured key positions, and broke through the German defense line at a pivotal point in the war. Just imagine, I mean it sincerely, I say this as a father of a man who... So, yesterday, 12th of October, the President of the United States flew out to Colorado to Camp Hale. Camp Hale is where the 10th Mountain trained during World War II. And a lot of great skiers came out of that. A lot of great ski owners and operators came out of that later on after the war. Also, there was a famous lieutenant who was in the 10th. That was Bob Dole. He was wounded severely in the mountains in Italy. But while he's there, President Biden said something that's off the wall. Of a man who won the Broad Star, the Conspicuous Service Medal, and lost his life in Iraq. Imagine the courage, the daring, and the genuine sacrifice, genuine sacrifice they all made. After the war. Did I hear that right, that he, he said his son... Bo lost his life in Iraq. Is this really the president of the United States? Is this the guy who's trying to kick out twenty to 60,000 service members who are pro-life because they won't take the vax? And he won't allow any religious accommodations? Is this the guy that's turned the military woke, saying that his son died in Iraq? I don't think he's there. I don't think he meant to commit or even come close to Stolen valor, but he did. When you say your son died, when he didn't die, he died years later. Unfortunately, he died of cancer. Bo was in the Delaware National Guard, a major, later on, and he did die of cancer. But he didn't die in Iraq. What is going on with this president? What is going on with our country? This is something has to be done. Who's going to do it? Apparently, it's, no one's doing anything right now. We've got an election coming up. Hopefully, we vote in all the Republicans, so at least we can stop some of this craziness. Anyway, later on, he goes on to talk about what he's going to do. So after he designates this an antique uh, monument, he goes on to put uh, 225 acres of Colorado's Thompson Divide nearby. He needs to put that into an anti-drilling, anti-gas, anti-exploratory. That's been held up by Congress many a times, by the Senate. But that's some of our richest gas and oil drilling in the country. At a time when we're short on fuel, we're not energy dependent, we're having to go out to other countries. And this guy also stops our gas production in Colorado, in these areas. We're, we're in trouble, folks. And this guy, I don't see how he can be president. His faculties aren't there. You can just see what he just said. How could you not know that your son didn't die in Iraq, that he died of cancer years later? What is he talking about? And finally, just, just little things. Why is he holding a mic and not using the two mics on the pedestal? I've, I've seen that a few times now. Something's going on. Something's going on. So what we can do is just vote in every Republican you possibly can so we can get rid of this nonsense and hopefully when these Republicans come in also, they will restore every service member who has been kicked out by this president. This is Bill Conrad, oldgrads.com, and askbillconrad.com. If you could, please come right here and go to Ask Bill Conrad and subscribe right here. It should be right about there. Appreciate you tuning in today. If you have any more questions, please leave them down below in YouTube. And uh, hope this helped. Take care. Till next time, be safe. Check into askbillconrad.com.